Hey there, it's Fairy here. Today I want to talk about the trap of the well-rounded makeup collection. This was a trap that I immediately fell into when I was a new beauty enthusiast and I thought in some way that I was better than most beauty enthusiasts when I fell into it because with a well-rounded collection, at least how I view a well-rounded collection, it's not that you have, it's not that you have, you know, backups upon backups and you just have a lot of things. It's that you have a lot of things, but you don't have a lot of similar things. So you may have, for instance, a few bronzers, but you have a matte bronzer, you have a shimmery, more shimmery luminous bronzer, and then you have a cream bronzer. You still have three bronzers, but they're all a different formula that will suit different needs whenever you want to use them. And so you just see that everywhere else in your collection. So you have a, you've curated, for instance, a brights palette. And even though you don't like blues or maybe you don't like greens, you have those shades because it's just completing everything. For me, it, it took me a while to sort of realize or even want to think about why I felt the need to be such a completionist, why I felt the need to have a variety of things at my disposal even if I knew, hey, I don't really like how these things look on me and for me, <laughs> I'm throwing in a lot of disclaimers today. Um, it was because I think I believe that if I had variety, I would be able to be more creative. I had it in my head that if I had, you know, the options available to me, I would just feel thus more inclined to use those options. And that kind of goes back to something I talked about in a previous video. Can't remember the title, so <laughs> good luck finding it if you want to watch it. But I talked about how I felt sort of insecure about not my makeup skills, but my creativity when it comes to makeup for most of my period being a beauty enthusiast. Well, I, which I still, you know, consider myself to be a beauty enthusiast. I'm just a lot more conscious. Yeah, in, in this video, I sort of discussed why I had a sugar pill collection. And it was because I wanted to be in that, you know, cool group of people that uses sugar pill shadows and that uses bright shadows. And I, from the inception of my enthusiasm for beauty, I've always wanted to do cool looks. Jesus Christ, someone came home. <laughs> I hate filming when other people are around. Okay, whatever. Um, back to the point. Ever since I got into beauty, I, I wanted to do cool looks. I wanted, I think one of the like, first looks I ever did was like rainbow brows with really shitty like shimmery eyeshadow. Uh, and like a pastel shimmery eye and, and a lip color that didn't suit me. So it's always been something innate within me to want to be creative with makeup, but I just, I always felt like inferior to people I would see on YouTube, on Instagram, who did such just creative fucking looks and they, they were so creative with their makeup. And I wanted to be like that and I never felt like I was like that and I believe subconsciously that led to me performing actions that sort of sued me that that told me if you have the means at your disposal you will be one of these people it was never something that was like at the forefront of my mind it was it was always in the back but ultimately it just led to me having a very wide variety of things to use, a very wide variety of interesting things to use uh, for literally like any look that I could ever come up with. But the reality is, even though I had these things, I never came up with like uh, a, a look to use them in. Uh, occasionally I, I would do that v very occasionally but nine times out of ten I would come up with that look because I it would come to me that hey you have a blue that you're not using <laughs> you should probably really use that blue so it was actually 
me neglecting product that inspired me to use it more. But even when that would occur, I would still not end up a fan of whatever I did. Like, I could understand that, hey, this is a cool look, but there's a reason why before I bought these things, I didn't want them. There's a reason why I was never drawn to them. I didn't feel inclined to buy them other than to put them into a collection and, and to complete something. Cause you know, completionism also plays a role in this. So I suppose to summarize this, it would be having more options will not make you more inclined to use them. It, it, it's a lie. <laughs> options are oppressive after a while. When, when you have a collection that's so large and, and you start to really think about it, your options become really oppressive, especially when there's options that you don't even feel inclined to choose, like a blue eyeshadow. I think buying these things was supposed to be inspiration for me to be something I'm not. <laughs> Neither I nor you need inspiration to use things that we don't want to use. There's a reason why we don't use them. There's a reason why we don't buy them. There's a reason why we're not inclined to even pay that much mind to them. So heed that reason. Let go of that fantasy self, as I'm inclined to say. <laughs> and of course, just to throw in a disclaimer here at the end that people will surely not listen to, um, of course, there's, there's a lot of reasons why one might have a large collection. It makes a lot of sense for a, say, makeup artist. Uh, it does not make sense for a single person who, when this is all happening, knew essentially what she was interested in and what she liked and what she didn't like. So there's that. <laughs> heat it, don't heat it, do what you want to do. But yeah. For uh, any new makeup enthusiasts out there, I would definitely say be wary of this, of, of falling into this. You are definitely not, you're in a somewhat better place, but you're not that far off from probably what you perceive other beauty, beauty enthusiasts, I should say. Um, are struggling with, which is just hoarding things and accumulating things to make you feel a certain way, to mask actually dealing with why you feel that certain way. All right, that'll be it for me. I will see you next video. Bye.